Jamie. Mike. It's Fridge Cam season three. I know. And things are gonna kick off. We've spent the last couple of weeks going through all of your feedback and suggestions, and we're not gonna give you just one video a week. Huh? We're not gonna give you two videos a week. No. We're not gonna give you three, we're not gonna give you four, we're gonna give you five videos every week. <laughs> so, coming up this week, expect to see some of this. Oh, um, I'm a big fan of that. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Succulent. Oh. oh. And a little bit of this. He's oh, he's not! He's done it! But first, why don't we kick things off with a mystery box? Here's how this is going to work. In a second, James will lower a mystery box containing a mystery ingredient. That ingredient will be a hint towards the theme of the week. That theme we then do loads of research on, ask you a bunch of questions, and develop some awesome recipes. James is the only one who knows the contents of the box and will take it upon himself to set us a weekly challenge because if there's one thing that YouTube needs, it's more challenge videos. Say hi, James. All right. James, please lower the box. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. actual honey. honeycomb. Honeycomb honey. So yeah, that is honey and actual honeycomb inside. So it's hopefully a little deeper flavor. And so we're gonna have to create some recipes. We're gonna have to do some research. We're gonna have to ask these guys what we do with honey. We're gonna create some awesome videos. And at the end of the week, Jamie and Ben are gonna have a big night in. Yes. With you guys, Good. based around <laughs> honey. What's going on? But you guys are gonna judge them and award brownie points based on how they do. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So the first thing we've got to do is ask you guys, what are we going to do with honey? Keep it clean. Or don't. Right, so thank you for your input. I think we've got it. Shall I tell them more to you, Lou? You, you do it. It's, we're making baklava and honeycomb ice cream. Baklava, awesome sticky sweets with nuts and phyllo pastry and homemade ice cream together in a cone with an orange blossom drizzle. Thank you. First up, the crunchy bits, the phyllo pastry. So in baklava, this would be layers and layers and layers between nuts and sticky syrup or honey. Today, we just want to bake off the sheets, rubbed with butter, and then bake them in the oven, 190 degrees Celsius for five minutes. And on the topic of phyllo, this is where it gets interesting. We're also going to use Filo sheets to make ice cream cones. Sheets cones, but they are the most delicate cones you'll ever see in your life. Really simple though, easier than a waffle cone, because you can do it without a waffle maker. All we want to do is cut a sheet into six and then wrap it around a metal cone. Now if you haven't got these, you can make them out of tinfoil. You just shape tinfoil until it looks something like that. The cones are obviously easier. With the cones rolled, we need to carefully transfer them into the same oven at the same Careful. temperature for <laughs> another five minutes. After five minutes, you might want to take the metal cones out and put them back in for another minute to dry out the insides too, so they are crispy and cone-like. Now for the ice cream. And it's a cheats ice cream, which means you don't have Good. to churn it as it freezes because of the sugars that we put into it, and it's honey is the primary sugar. So first up, 600 ml of double cream whipped up to stiff peaks, and then we're gonna fold in half condensed milk and half delicious honey. Magical, magical honey. I'm one of those people who uses honey to basically cure all of my almonds. All of them? All of them. I, I, I don't take tablets for headaches or for flus and things else. I just go down the shop and buy myself some, like the plus 50 Manuka honey if they've got it, and it fixes everything for me. For me. For me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Forget the 50 pence paracetamol, I'm going all in <laughs> on a 30 pound jar of honey. Although back in the day, didn't they rub honey on wounds? Because it acted like an antiseptic as well. It's really? like, yeah, honey is, honey is good for some stuff. Oh. Never go off. No, and Ben thinks he's got lots of facts about honey. Well, I tell you something, Mike and I have more. Welcome to the Sorted Food Amazing Guide to How Bees Make Honey. You know it, I know it. Winnie the Pooh knows it, he knows it. Bees make honey, but do we actually know how they make it? No? Idiot. Bees make honey for food. This is a bumblebee. They have small colonies, make small amounts of honey, and hibernate during the winter. This is a wasp. They don't make honey, they just f*** up your picnic. And this is a honeybee. These nutters make honey all year round, and they are legends. 
These ladies work outside the hive collecting nectar, a sugary liquid, by sucking it out of bits of flowers. They have two stomachs, a honey stomach for storage and the proper stomach for energy absorption. In the honey stomach are enzymes. These break down the complex sugars of the nectar into simpler sugars. When they have a full load of nectar, they fly back to the hive and pass it through their mouths to the hive bees, also ladies. They chew it and pass it from bee to bee until it turns to honey. And the point of this is to reduce the water content and the pH of the nectar so bacteria and mould is less likely to grow. Then the bees store it in honeycomb cells, they fan it with their wings to dry it and seal it with wax. Oh, wondering what the male bees do? They eat and they mate, then they die. At this point you've got stiff peaks, so you just want to fold in so you don't lose too much air. But equally combine it. How's your filet pastry? Oh, quite lucky. Done. That was lucky. <laughs> it's in a cloud of smoke that came out of that. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! Ah. So, our filo sheets, if we crack them up into little pieces and put them in, they kind of dissolve into the ice cream. So they don't remain crispy, that's what the cone's for, mm -hmm. but it gives it a lovely butteriness. Buttery. A bit like a cookie dough. Mm -hmm. Plus, we're going to add in all the nuts. We're going to blitz up and add in two with the zest of a lemon. Loads going in. It'll be delicious. If you're not karate chopping that, we've got a problem. Yeah. Come on. You've got to attack that like you would a stack of poppadoms. No, no. Attack it like having the way Jamie writes emails. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Depending on where your baklava comes from will depend on the choice of nuts. We're going for walnuts, pistachios, and almonds. Which means that our baklava comes from Ben's Out imagination. <laughs> right, give me a spoon. Ooh. That is unreal. Baz. <laughs> Baz. Baz. There you go, we're going to stop it now. Baz. Sorry. Yes. And now for the best bit about this mystery ingredient. What, Let's wax? see if I can get the honeycomb. That gets broken into our ice cream too. It's like all the flavours and all the maths in one. Why math? Honeycomb, it's incredibly mathematical. Oh, how, do you, how do you make that geeky? <laughs> at this point, the beautiful Baxter-inspired ice cream can be frozen. A couple of hours at least, overnight is better. But then take it out of the freezer, 10 minutes before you need it, so it's scoopable. That's like, you're just, a, he's attempting like salt bay, isn't he? He's just trying to turn it into scooping bay. Everyone, everyone will be doing it. <coughs> nope. Nope, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> With your cones cooled, very, very carefully twist and pull very your metal. Carefully bits out and you're left with phyllo crunch cones. This is the texture, whereas the buttery phyllo in the ice cream is there for fleet. And then to top it off, you need some sauce. You want the juice from your pre-zested lemon and then of course some orange blossom water. And why not? Some more honey. It is honey week after all. A sprinkle more pistachio, mm. honey and orange blossom dribble. That right there is a baklava and honeycomb ice cream in a phyllo cone. Sorted. Sorted. Dig in. Ruin it. Ruin, Ruin it. it. Yes. Oh. Oh. Wow. Mm. That, that's a game changer on that. That is everything. That is creamy, nutty. It's very, very honeyy. But it's like a deep honey. It's not just a super sweet. And occasionally you get a little bit of chew from a honeycomb in the middle mm -hmm. there. Boys, well done. That is a good way to kick off Honey Week. Mm -hmm. Now, if you want all of the details for this recipe and join in with our free cooking lessons, you can get all the details in the box downstairs. Don't forget to join us on Tuesday where Mike is going to be levelling up a grilled cheese. It's Honey Week. It is Honey Week. There's a clue. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you to everyone who joined in with all of their suggestions and recommendations for what we should do for Honey Week. If you're not already a part of that conversation, then get on Twitter, get on, get on Facebook, get, on, get on the YouTube community tab, join in. But until then, we will see you next Tuesday. That's how you get on it. <laughs> Did you just say? Philo Crunch. What? Yeah. We're what? going to see them on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.